family my good people welcome back to our youtube channel but before we continue because we have a lot to discuss and karma karma is real actually what you do to others eventually comes to you and i'll be showing you what i want to talk about because today's video is a naked truth what you go what you do goes around what goes around comes around so watch this watch this before we continue my family you see this one. so the piping is okay and uh, the piping is okay but uh, what i know yeah did, did, uh, did he did, when he he did it direct yeah it would be better than this it could be better than this because yeah you know i've had now plus you is my third plumber mm. the first plumber messed everything mm. so i got another one who came and put the house together it was total mess even we have instant shower areas just in case i don't know it's there you see it's those there, it is here. it's there in case so i told him to put two two lines first for solar water heater like this <laughs> and, and instant shower oh, instant but now, shower. yeah but now we don't have electricity here i cannot use instant shower mm. because it will drain my battery <laughs> so you see this one is bringing so let's go to the other one my good family Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. As you can see, from what I've just put that receipt, you can see what someone does to others, it will just come to others. A scammer is being scammed, you know. You can be a very, very intelligent scam, but God can give you another way for you to be scammed. That is what I want to say, you know. So today's video, we want to talk about, uh, it is a reaction video, but also it is an educative video, it is an inspiring video, and also it is a video that will open people's eyes and see the facts, what Max One is going to say. So out of what I've, I, I put, I put outside there, on our table today, we have Ayamaro, and we are going to talk about this. And in a very sensitive way and in a very you know intelligent way that I have you I want you to see this sense out of what I'm trying to say as I as the title suggests as the, the title suggests as karma being scammed karma is rain my family Marwa has been constructing a house that it calls itself Villa Medellin. I don't know Villa Med Medellin. I don't know what. And for sure, that house, I want to say, I don't think that was the initial plan of building that house. Why am I saying this? Because there are a so lot of complications in that house. A lot of complications. A lot of complications. First and foremost, I want to say that house, one, the water is a problem. The water is a problem. And I want to say, as I've said, when God wants to reveal, and when God wants to give you a, a clear indication that what you are trying to do to others is not good, he will show you out of what you are trying to do. Because, as you can see, I am always saying that actually he has spent... Three plumbers, not on that, not that he has spent. He has brought three plumbers. One plumber totally messed up everything. And you know, when a plumber comes in and you give him the house, and this, this is even a message to many who are building. Make sure when you are giving the work to a plumber, make sure he's a qualified plumber. <laughs> not unless it's karma. Because, but I don't understand how. Uh, Maru is saying that the first plumber messed up everything, meaning that everything was just in a mess. Why am I saying this? Because the second plumber, when he came in, he found the pipes, other pipes had been broken, you know, the seeping of water, you know. And that is what I'm saying. If Marwa was doing a genuine thing, 
the first plumber could have finished everything. You know? Could have finished everything. Everything. But you see, the first one came totally amazed. The second one came, at least rectified something. Tried to, which, you know, now the second plumber was um, uh, 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 Armstrong. You know? Came. And you know, at that time, the engineer was there. And that engineer was just a. a, a I don't know even if I is a qualified engineer, you know, I don't know. Because that engineer was just there to make videos, was just there to concentrate that, oh, today this and this and this and this has happened. But totally a mess because even the, the upper floor, the helipad that they were building, they were demolishing, it was the work of that engineer, you know. So when you're scamming others, the money that you are scamming others, it won't help you. Even if you are doing it, it will double you. It will double the, the work. Instead of it going so smooth, you'll find that that work is being done with almost three people. And they are qualified. They are qualified because this plumber, a plumber to accept that he knows something, for you to give someone a, a big house like that to do plumbing inside, he has to be qualified and you know our brother usually tell us that he's dealing with professionals you know professionals so what happened that is the question what happened is that god is not happy god is not happy with the treatment this our brother is giving out in this village and that is why i've said he's coming but is also scammed in another way because the same same money that is took is taking from the people not paying the people you know people crying here and there that we've worked we've worked but no payment the same same money when he puts in that project you find that things are not going well things are not going well now the third plumber came the third plumber was the one now that was trying to to put water and i want to say and bring this to your attention that the water that is being used in that place is the water from the swimming uh, from the, the the fish pond you know and that water is not even clean because they have not even placed any tank to pump, to pump the water you know because when I was watching that, what we was doing very keenly, I realized, actually I realized that there were very dirty, dirty water, dirty water coming from those pipes, those showers. And I was like, is our brother very serious? Because how can he use dirty water? You know? Is he serious? And when he brought this third plumber, when he was doing the plumbing, <laughs> now putting the hot water and the cold water so that the house could have hot water. Imagine one of the house was paralyzed, you know. One house is cold water, another house, another part of the house is hot water. So meaning that all plumbing should go down. That all plumbing should start afresh. You know, because how can other, you know, that other, other showers in the house, they are giving out hot water. But other showers, they are giving cold water. You know, what that does mean, what does that indicate to you? Calma, calma, what you do to others will eventually come back to you. And let me put this, this receipt, as you can see, for sure, what I'm talking about, you know. It's very bad. So I'll come back to see what it has around our disposal. You see it's now 20 to 25. So I'll come back and see in one minute. Let me see. On the other side, what finding Ian has found with his, his mates. Uh, so here it's, uh, it's cold 
So I'm giving it like one minute to see what's happening. What about the other side? It's called cold. Yeah. So let me see if this turns to be cold, then it means we'll have to find that that root of this hot water and tap it to the rest of the house. Yeah. Yes. That means only cold hot water only comes to one section of the house, not the rest. So what you need to find as a plumber is find where this hot water is coming from and see the pipe that it can feed this one to hot and feed the other one, which runs the other side. Because we only have hot and, and cold. Let me check. Or you can out of what you've seen. Because now they are going around the house. That house, yes, is a big house. Because the well wishers has come out supportedly and conditionally. They do give out a lot, a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot. But now, because this is our young our brother is not, this is our brother is not straightforward. I can even say he's my younger brother because he keeps on reducing his ears. He keeps on reducing his ears. Eh? Today we'll say he's 32 years, tomorrow 33, you know. Yesterday part one, tomorrow part one, if you ask him, we'll tell you he's 29. So even if you call him our younger brother, there's no problem. Now my good family, out of what you've watched, what do you think is happening in that place? Do you think God is happy? God is not happy. Because yes, you have resources. Eh? You have people whom you've, you know, took for granted for so long, you know, sending you money to do this and this and this and this to help the vulnerables, but you end up pocketing. You end up pocketing. Pocketing. People goes outside there crying. You know, the watchmen, why not Alex? The two guys recently, the manager, the security guards, all people who are working there are complaining. Why? They will never leave you alone. The tears they shed will always do a lot and a lot and a lot. So it is your time, my brother, to rectify. And what I want to say, and now this is a message to my brother Ayamaru. We never saw you building a septic tank for you to collect the sewage, for you to collect the, the, dirty, the dirty water coming from your house. And because that house, you know, maybe at once when it will get visitors, everyone will, showering, will be taking shower in that house. And that water will be draining down. So have you dug a septic tank, a good septic tank, you know, that is not leakable? Because your, your, your place is just near a river. You know? I want my people to get, me, to get me very clearly. Because you are trying to educate here people. We are trying to show them that you are seeing beyond. You know? The first thing that he should do. Because that, the distance from the house to the river is just a few, mint, few meters actually. few meters. It's not so far. You know, it's not so far. So now I'm asking in a, in, a, in a good way, in a good way. Did he build a good septic tank that will store that sewage products not to flow into the river? Because that river is being used with so many innocent people. The cows, the people. Now, what will happen? You will find there is no... When you are, you are building, when you are doing something in the village, do justice to many. Because not everyone is enjoying, is enjoying what you are enjoying in that you are, you are building. You know? I'm speaking this from the bottom of my heart. In an openly way, in a joyful way, in a good way, without anything. But we want to see other lives. You know? We want to care about other lives. Because that home is a big home. Lot of showers. I don't know, almost, uh, I don't know if each and every room has got a shower. And also the waste from that house. 
where will it be going to be deposited after they have done their washing, they have done their showers, showering? It, is, it will be in the river. The river just at... And you know that, that, that place is full of water, actually. It is full of water, more especially when it rains. You know, water just seep, seeps in, the seepage just seeps in. So meaning they will just be mixing, you know. So is that justice to the people? Is that ju doing justice to the people? That isn't doing justice. Just is injustice. And that is why God is very, very unhappy. And that is why you can see the water. One part of the house is paralyzed. One can bring hot water and the other one can bring cold water. Meaning things are in a mess. So the engineer, the, the, the plumber has to go back, start once, start one. And that is funds going, you know, that is funds, you know. But as I've said, God never sleeps. God never leaves their innocent people to perish, you know. The cries of the innocent people will come in a unknowing, a knowing, a knowingly. To a certain thing that will surprise you. Why am I doing this and this thing is not going well? You know? It is like, you know, the story of Nebuchadnezzar's, you know? Now that is what is happening. Hmm? You will see the handwriting on the wall, but you will never translate it. You will never translate the, the, the words being written. But as we, can, we are able to translate what is happening. And for those who think maybe Max One, why are you being jealous? I'm not jealous of anything. The only thing that I'm doing here, I'm trying to correct my brother and show that he can do the right thing. Because he said, ah, he is resurrecting our channels. Yes. So long as now you are baptizing and resurrecting our channels, there is no problem because that is what you said and you are laughing. Huh? But me will never resurrect my channel because my channel is always active. I have my family that watches my videos, you know, family that comes, supports me unconditionally. Eh? They watch and watch, they support me, they comment, they like, they share. So you just resurrect the channels that you gave out the shout outs to fake, fake shout outs. Because the same, same channels, when they die, you are now resurrecting them again by shouting back the shout outs so that at least the subscribers can wake up and say, oh, so I am Aro send us to that channel. So let's go and review. You know, that is totally bad. So karma is rain. And karma is not something to joke with. For sure. Karma is rain. So my brother, I've sent a strong message to you. I've sent a strong message to you. Make sure the, the water drainage should not go to contact the river. Because that, that will lead to contamination. That will lead to water pollution, which is not good. That water source is being used with a lot of people. Send people, you know. So please, when you are doing something, at least take care of others. Take care of others. You know, think about others, you know. And I'm challenging you, my brother. Do the rightful thing at the right time. Don't use the weakness of people because they are poor. They don't have anything. For you to come and for them to be crying and crying and crying daily because of you. It is totally something very, very bad. To you, you will be seeing that it is a good thing. But you never know. The generation that is coming, you know, it might not fall to you, but already you've seen the consequences. You, you, are, you are experiencing these consequences because why? One, you are trying to say that you've been giving out the help. You've been giving out the help for no, for, for no payment. And you know very well that even from scratch, from the foundation of that house, 
It is because of the will and the well, the well wishers' will, donating and donating and donating ramsams of money, good money, for you to come out with a such building. Not you. Because what you do in YouTube cannot, actually, you cannot convince people that what you are trying in YouTube can help you build that house. Nothing. That the salary payment, nothing. It is the money from the well-wishers. And you should be appreciative. When you wake up, my brother, make sure the first thing that you do, pray for the good well-wishers, that they have, they have sacrificed a lot for you. They have sacrificed not even to eat good, not to, buy, to, to put on sneakers, others not to buy sneakers, others not even to put food on the table for you to have that place. Same to me, I'm very, very grateful. Because where I am, I usually say thank you and thank you to my subscribers, my family. They're far. You've took me. You know, my channel is growing. It is because of your support. Right now, I own a house. The finishing part is the one that is remaining. And I know it is step by step. And we shall be there. And that is why I usually say, my mom, wherever you want, may God bless you and bless you so much. And for all those who have supported me, may God bless you and bless you so much. Because I don't take it for granted. But I usually see these people full of ego. Others are full of ego. Pride. They say like they are the one making it. Ungrateful. So I want to tell you, my brother. Because you said, the other time you came out and said, now there will be no free shutouts. Because I've been doing this for free. I want to say that those people had been contributing and contributing a lot, actually. They made you to have a good life. Because no one came here empty-handedly. Everyone was packing his own gifts. Others even bought pregnant goats. Others even bought pregnant cows. Others even brought uh, chickens that were ready to hatch eggs. You know? Were ready to give birth to eggs. You know? Others brought oil, cooking oil. 50 kg, 100 kgs. Others brought CCTVs. Others brought the lights. Imagine. Others even are painting for free, just for shout outs. Others dug trenches there for free. The helper when you are building, even the guys were saying that it was for free. The labor, you are getting it for free just because of you are trying to tell them that I'll give you shout outs. You know, I'll give you shout outs. I'll give you shout outs. Eh. Don't mind, I'm going to build your channel. I'll... And after a few months, the channel goes dead. And you just come out laughing that we are resurrecting the channel. You want to resurrect the channel. So, you know very well that what you are trying to do is a very bad thing. And that is why God is trying to show that he's not happy. He's not happy. Me, I will tell you for free. He's not happy. Three plumbers. Three plumbers. The work is failing. And you tell us that everything is just okay. You can see even the, the helper that you are, you are saying that ah, I'm building for the helicopter. It is was because the house was leaking and leaking and leaking and leaking. God is not happy. Calm. Calm is coming. Calm is rain. Correct your mistakes, my brother. Don't put pride in front. Don't put the ego in front. You need the people. You need the support of the people for you. Just because, just the way they help you from their hearts, not claiming any payment, just from their hearts. And now you are coming out with Rocio. Rocio is trying to say that, you know, now I'm the protector. Now I'm the guard. Now I'm the lioness. The people have been eating here for free from breakfast, lunch, supper sleeping here and you're forgetting that even you you came from my 
Argentina, you came to this village, you found these people here, and you are there insulting them. Booking appointments, assigning. Me, I know you, I know you very well. There's nothing that will come free, nothing. Totally nothing. You have to be given for you to open your mouth and say, please support this. Minus that, nothing. When I say the truth, some do come out and say, oh, Max One, why are you being biased? Max One, why are you being like this? Max One, what is wrong? Because I want to the truth to reveal, I want the truth to be taken into, to be looked into. Rocio, you will need this, these people. Stop the pride. I know you're not the one talking, but maybe the child is the one talking. You know? And please cover your tummy. Be covering your tummy because you might give, a, you might give birth to a kid that will reject the clothes. Kindly. We know that you made it. We know that you have a seed. We know, and that is an angel. You know, but at least cover that angel so that when she comes out, she'll be a decent angel. A decent angel. He'll be dressing very well if he is a boy. You know, a boy can come out and reject a t-shirt, not putting on shirts. Not putting on the shirts. A baby girl might come out and you find that she doesn't want even to, to put on the clothes, more especially the tummy. Because that is what the mom told her when she was in the womb. So be very keen. So my family, thank you very much for watching. And also I want to touch. I want to touch a very, 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 very positive thing about YouTube. First I want to thank this YouTube platform. A hundred percent. In a good way. And I want to say... For all those who came up with this YouTube platform, so that they could join us, they could connect us with good people, with good souls, selfless souls, wonderful souls, I want to say thank you and thank you so much. I have a million reasons why I am saying that. Because out of our village here, I can see my fellow brothers and sisters. Right now, YouTube has employed so many youths, has employed even the moms, have employed even the dads. I want to say it is a good thing. And YouTube is good because YouTube is all about you create content, good content, people comes out. So long as you are true, you are reality, you want the best for, for the community, YouTube is always there to support you. And you'll get good people that will always be around and to say, continue. Because when I look around our village, I see the fruits of YouTube. I see the fruits of YouTube. My fellow youths have put a lot of progress. Some, they're genuine people. Some, they're just scammers. Some, they will tend to use these innocent well-wishers, selfless and wonderful people to mislead and confuse and even, you know, mislead them. But for the genuine people, kudos to you. Continue with the same spirit. Because God will continue connecting and connecting you with good people. And I want to say, keep on supporting my fellow YouTubers from this village. Because, as I've said, in our village here, 90% is totally poverty. People are living miserable lives. Miserable lives. Some are orphans, some are old people, some are those who cannot even feed themselves, even uh, to, can get, cannot even afford 
are two meals. Two meals a day. They only take one meal a day. I can see my fellow youths, they are, some are, are built, you know, some even they are bought cars, you know, which is a very good thing. But now the problem is, others are not genuine, they are not genuine, because others are using this platform to scam others, to find a weakness from others because they are poor, to use them give them free labors, you know, to say that uh, this, this thing, we are the one that we have brought it when they know very well that they are not the one fooling people around, which is totally a mess. I've seen YouTube has created impact in our village because I can see even the widows, they have been built, been built homes. And yesterday, I want to say, I met a sad story, a very sad story, from a young lady who is 22 years. 22 years. And I remember she called me. She called me. She called me yesterday. It was around 4 p.m. And I asked, who is, who am I talking to? She said, I I had been hearing people talking about you, saying you are a truthful person, a person who fights for the village. And that is why I was interested to take a number and even to use someone's phone to call you. And she told me, I want to meet you. Actually, she's a lady. I want to meet you. And when I met her, when she shared the story, because first I have, you know, I have to ask my audience first before I bring anyone, because I might bring someone and people might be there, oh, Max One, Max One, Max One, you know. But this is a, ch a, a, a girl child, a girl child. Her story touched me. Her story really touched me. Because she said, they are only ladies. Actually, she's the fourth, the fourth lady in that home, and there are, there are six siblings. And their property got burned, actually, because when their dad passed away, when their dad passed away, the the people, the relatives, the brothers to the dad wanted to take the land. So what they did, they burnt down the house of their mom. And it was during the time when the mom had gone out. Had gone, she had gone out. Very sad story. So they were left homeless. Actually homeless. And from there, that day, because they are only ladies and she said they have been married actually others have been married but they are not able even to support the family so she's now because she, she felt very bad actually she felt very bad and she she said no matter what she'll build a home for her mom because right now the, 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 the church is the one that is supporting the mom plus the two siblings that have remained in the home. Very sad story. And she was shedding a lot of tears, crying. She was shedding a lot of tears, crying. And that promoted, not even that, because she's a lady and you know, she never, she never had that chance to go to school because of what happened. The mom lost everything. Even feeding, you know, is a problem. She was so open. She told me she met another guy. That he, she thought maybe it was something, someone 
he could hold her hand and look up to. But things changed. This man just impregnated her and brought a lot of other problems into her. First, before even I continue, so for so long, I asked her, why did you, why, why, why did you look, why were you looking for me? She told me that, you know, I've been told that I am, you are a YouTuber, and I've been told that from this, from this village, because I'm not from this village, actually she comes from Migori. Migori is a, is a count that we share, but she's in this village. And I'll be telling you the kind of work that she does right now. Very, very painful. It's a very painful story. So she told me, you know, Max, Max One, I've been told you are a YouTuber, and the only thing that I want is you to make a video with me so that I can give all the story because I have a lot to share. I have a lot to share. And I told her, what is the problem? Now she was now narrating the way I've been now narrating to you. And she said, when she got the baby, and you know, as I've said, the church is the one now taking care of the, the mom because this mom used to go to that church. That church never left her. They rented, they rented a house, they, they rented a home, a house for her, which, you know, the church cannot do everything for you. Now problems came, she got pregnant. And now, after giving birth, taking care of the baby for one year, she had to go out. She had to go out, you know, to look for a job. No decent job. And because she's a lady, she found herself, with this age of 22, she found herself in the bar. You know what I mean? Because we have the bars where they sell alcohols, men taking advantage of young ladies because of their conditions, you know. And surprisingly, she has told me that she has worked there she has worked in the bar for two and a half years. And she has been saving little, little, little by little, little by little, little by little. And she told me she has been able, through the saving, because where she lives, where they live, the plot of land is very cheap. She bought a land worth 70,000 Kenyan shilling. Because she vowed that she will build for the mom the house. Very reality, because me, I don't want to fake. I don't want to fake. So, when she ended in these bars where they sell alcohols, you know now men do take advantage of these young ladies because they think they are just all, they are just harlots. They don't understand that those people, that those other ladies just go there because of the problems they find in home. So when I asked her, she told me, actually, I've managed to buy a plot of land. And recently, two, two months ago, she purchased the iron sheets. She said she purchased 30, 38 iron sheets. She purchased the two, two doors because she said she wanted to just to build this normal house of mud house. She wanted a shelter for her, her mom. Actually, that story touched me until I felt like shedding tears because me, I was not born with a sister. So when she shared this story with me, actually, I was very open. I shared it to my wife. My wife was so touched. And I told my wife the only thing that she wants is her to me to do the video with her. And because you know there are so many drama, because there are so many drama in this village. Because I might share with the story with her, they end up creating stories, you know. Even if the person 
for sure Lily wants it because she was telling me that for sure she has struggled so much and now it has reached a place where she's giving up because after purchasing the iron sheets purchasing the two doors and two windows now she's very stuck she's like she needs help and that is why she she asked for my number actually i i asked her we have many villagers we have many youtubers why do you come to me she told me actually i've had your cv i've had your your dignity and that is why i have come so that at least i can whoever can feel like supporting maybe with the timber she said she wants to buy trees three trees and maybe the power so the man of a power saw can break it and also those those small those small woods that passes through the 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 through the around the house before they mud the house with mud so she has said the problem that she has is the labor because that is the problem that has remained and where she has reached she has seen that for sure many are taking advantage of her because she's a lady and she doesn't like this kind of job that she's doing but because she wants and she's a girl child and what touched me more is that she's a girl child but she's thinking so upright not all ladies think about it she wants at least her mom to have a shelter and you know me same to me i have a single mom and i feel that is why i do say all oh, single moms in this world may god bless you and bless you so much because you pass through a lot now she said if anyone can support her anyone anyone because me when i come here i only have one mom whom you know she's supporting me and i'm very very grateful for the connection that god has given me to my mom thank you very much the almighty i'll always kneel down and say thank you but she said anyone anyone who will feel like gonna support and you know me, I'm ready. I'm ready if someone sends me that you know Max One, we want to see this story if, if real. We can go to see if the story is real. We can go and see the iron sheets, whether she bought the iron sheets. We can see whether she bought the, the land. We can see if she bought the, the windows. We can see if all the stories that she had been telling me is true. Because as a girl child, for this all progress, I don't think it is easy. It is not easy. So she said, if someone can support her, maybe with small labor, because you know these mud houses don't have a lot, only to get the timbers, uh, because the, the trees are so many. Can, the timbers, you know what I, I'm talking about, and the labor. So that at least the house, because the iron sheets, the iron sheets are there. The doors are there. So that at least the shelter of the hammam, the dream can come true. Because if you've helped, if you have helped so many people to build multi-million multi mansion, if people, the well wishers have has transform, transformed many, many, many homes. Because me, I'm satisfied with what i'm getting but this story really touched me for sure it really touched me so if anyone will watching this video will be touched to support this girl child that is fighting so hard you know doing this kind of job going out of job at around 12 p.m 12 a.m at night because she doesn't even have a place to stay she's staying with she said that she's staying with a friend you know just because she wants her mom to have shelter if you know you are you are a mom outside there 
And if you know you have a girl child, supporting this young gun is not a problem. It won't be a big deal. And me, Max One, because I'm a truthful person, if you tell me go there and do this and do this, we want to see what is happening, I'll do it. Because the story really touched me. It really touched me. It really touched me. It really touched me. So if you are, know you are watching the video, wherever you are watching from, I want to say a girl child is someone to be protected. A girl child is not someone to be left to struggle so much alone. More special this condition because this lady has got a baby. The baby is at home. She's not even from this village. The lady is, you know. For the good souls, they will listen to this story very keenly. But if no one wants to step in, then we're going to leave it like that. But me, Max One, I've done my part. Even if God asked me, that innocent soul came to you to ask you this and this and this. You know? What step did you make? Because me, these are my family subscribers, they are my royal family, I've, I've shared the information. So if you know you are a mom, if you know you are a dad, you have a, you have a daughter, and this, if you be, you, you'll be get touched, even $2, $3, $5, $10, you know? But not to be sent in my, my, my no. Because when you send... Here, hey. it will take again a month for her, and they will be asking me, We did this, and Max One, what happened? So, if you know you are outside there, I've never come out and tell you such a thing. But it is a touching story, a very touching story. Help this girl child because we'll be helping the mom, we'll be helping the two siblings. Will be helping even the, the his son. He, he, I don't know his the son is his kid. And God will bless you. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching my family. And may God bless you and bless you so much. God bless you abundantly. Yeah. And even when we meet, when we shall meet with this lady, I'll tell her. If you have a phone, go watch the video. I have played my part. You know. Yeah. So thank you very much. See you in another that is coming. And I want. Let no one mistake me. Because I know there is a lot of saga. There is a lot of drama. And I don't want to fix myself with drama. For sure. I don't want. If someone is a clean someone. And someone is a parent. Someone has got that heart. There are so many people who have been helping this village. Even you don't know them. You don't know them. You know? You don't know them. You know? Some are, are, they have been built toilets, houses, the fence have been fenced. How about this young lady, at 22 years old, that is working in a bar, selling alcohol, men taking advantage of her? It is a touching story. So thank you very much. Let's see each other in the next video that is coming.